Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. The place where you go with your boys to drink beers and whiskey and act like a bunch of fucking assholes. We are here, and of course, in the Gentleman's Den with young Francis to my left, young J-Dub to my right, and I, of course, am the Big Bear, a.k.a. Sean. Fellas, how we all doing today? Feeling good. Feeling real good. I'm feeling great. We all feeling good? Could feeling the nice? Jameson talking. Woo. It might be. <laughs> might be the vitamins. You never know. I got to tell you, I'm feeling really good, guys. Yeah, you, you know just why? did like four shots of Jameson. I did. <laughs> I thought it was one. <laughs> <laughs> you said four glass. One, like one, glass. one real big one. Well, I thought we were going to do a shot. To start the show, that was the I initial. told you, I said, fill it up because I want to sip during the show. I don't follow like, directions so well. I'm going to do a shot for the show. I'm fucking hyped, bro. I'm thrilled. Right? Feeling but, good this week? Well, the lady's out of town. So the gentleman's den. Full effect. Just like the dark phoenix <laughs> has spread its wings <laughs> and <laughs> taken over the entire house. House. Risen from the ashes. Oh boy! So, milady is at a bachelorette party in Tennessee, Getting sucking great. on penis straws, doing God knows what. Getting s- hammered in Smashville. But it is. It's it's fucking bittersweet. You know what I'm saying? Like. He's uh, sentimental. He her. Yeah, let me I get sentimental her. for a little bit. Like. Oh. <laughs> Shit! I wish I could cue up the fucking violin music. It is. It's it's nice. It's nice when you're in a relationship for a long time. It's nice to have that fucking alone time. I you know? know what that's like. You just chill. You have some alone time. But then you. So like, what you're saying is just been constant beat off session the whole time. No, no, no. Home. Like, I, I, Kayla's got to get home. It's and nice quick having. To do the it's nice having alone time, right? But <laughs> I keep staring at this house, and it's like the pantry's full of bread. The fucking fridge is full of deli meat, and there's there's not a fucking sandwich in sight, guys. And there's where we lose the women demographic of our podcast. <laughs> All right, they just uh, you know, and you know let's what not even they talk about better. Let's not even talk about the fucking laundry that's piling up. Tube socks. Yeah, but that's just the one. <laughs> 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 he doesn't want to do the laundry. No, I hid that. Uh, Man, no, it shattered. Let's be honest. It was so crusty, it shattered. I did have one in high school, a nut rag I kept under the bed. <laughs> I hid it from everyone. Yeah, I remember you wore that T-shirt. <laughs> it wasn't a shirt. Was you know, a if you were smart, you would just use a napkin or Kleenex because you could just throw it out then. Yeah, Kleenex stock's going way up. Way up. I mean, Instead of coming in your nut rag named Jessica. Damn, oh. no names, bro. Come on, that that's that's pretty that's pretty personal. When you're naming, you know what I mean? You're naming stuff like that. It's his nut rag. It's not like some bar skank he picked up in fucking 1983 and gave her the old fucking high hard one in the booty hole. 83 was a good year. Jeff wasn't born yet. Exactly. <laughs> I was talking about his dad's ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, boys. So uh, everybody's week obviously has been going well. Yeah, man. Working on the grind. Work's been crazy. Obviously, you know, never getting a work out of work on time. Hitting five o'clock rush hour from the city is always fun. You finally went back to work. Yeah, been been out for a while. You know, family stuff. R.I.P. Nana. Um, but you know, getting back to work, it feels good to get up every day and. You know what I mean? Just be moving around and doing stuff, being home with my dad, you know, with his cancer. He's got his good days and bad days now, but going through his treatments were hard. But just getting back and, and, you know, going to work and being out every day, you know what I mean? Chipotle every day. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's the luxuries. You you. got to look at everything in a positive. See, we don't look at that because I make a lunch. (laughs) (laughs) I I love me some food. I think everyone knows that. Appetizers. Yeah, the problem is you order so much fucking food. <laughs> so, like, you order food, and then everyone else orders food. And then everyone else has to try and finish your food. I mean, 
I like I like variety. I like to taste a little bit of Yeah, variety. that's fine. Just tell them you want fucking two mozzarella sticks. You should just get, get like a the sampler. sampler platter. I don't understand. You order mozzarella sticks, cheese curds. Oh, give me that fucking hot dog with the fucking pretzel bun, bitch. Oh, man, now you're making me hungry. We just ate. <laughs> I mean, I think they need to make a menu at restaurants with uh, when you pick pick your own sampler. I'm a pretty lot of the sure they do. Almost every fucking place <laughs> does this. I don't like half the stuff on the samplers. Sometimes they got like weird stuff that's like healthy and good for you. What fucking restaurants are you going to that has healthy fried food? Guess what? That's an oxymoron, you dummy. Well, the, like those spinach avocado egg roll things. That's got to be somewhat good for you. I never ate spinach. It's deep, deep fried. fried. Also, it's got a little bit bad for you. It's 100% bad for hey, you. Hey, man, enjoy life and eat everything. Fuck it. That's how I feel. Yeah, until you meet that one lady. Yeah. That Eat everything she, and fuck if it. She's the right I mean, lady. that's pretty smells sure like your fucking sh- motto. Is eat like everything <laughs> and fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> smells like the shithouse door on a tuna boat. If, if she's the right woman, she likes to eat it just as much as I do. Oh, boy. Man, this podcast is going to be going off the rails real quick, boys and girls. It might be. I mean, doesn't I mean, it's always going to. Because it's I mean, just us hanging out. It might be the home. whiskey. It might be the vitamins. It might be the PBRs. I never smoked vitamins before in the past, though. That's See, we live in a... Smoke st- vitamins? That's what he's talking what? about. What? Listen, don't, don't listen, the, listen, guy. We, li- we live in a state where a certain plant is not legal. I don't live in that state. I live in one that's... You're be. currently... Hey, I just want to say, real quick, I don't mean to cut you off, Sean, but congratulations, Frankie. Frankie yeah. lives in Illinois... Waiting a long time for this. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> See, Never marijuana is going to be January legally, 1st. Legally, right? Yeah. Recreational? Yeah. January, January 1st. 1st is, is when Congratulations. Full effect. Yeah, but, but you know what else goes in full effect January 1st? Massive tax hikes yeah, that are going to fucking cripple the state. It's going to help, though, too, in a way, though, too. I mean, there's. Yeah, because everybody's going to be stoned as fuck and not give a shit. And there's sports gambling now that's going to yeah. be illegal. So you're going to be high making so a lot a of dumb bets. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Illinois has been corrupt for since Al Capone. They're finally admitting it by <laughs> legalizing weed and sports gambling. One of the greatest cities in the world. I mean, That's why I love it. It's, it, it is going to be awesome. There's already dispensaries out there that I've actually gotten menus from just this last week at work. Like, there's... They're, they're, now, they're, how do you work a dispensary menu? Is it like the same menu at uh, a restaurant? Like you're ordering kinda, a kinda fuck ton of appetizers like you can't finish? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll finish these appetizers no matter what. <laughs> See, but, the best part about Illinois going legal is I get to get edibles again. That's what I was about to say, too. Yeah, but, but you got to legally awesome. cross them over the border, you fucking that's, smuggler. That's why I got Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> and where are these drugs going, Sean? Frankie's uh, going to hide them in his fucking prison wallet. And then he's going to eat them. Yeah, but they're going to be in a package, so I'm not worried about it. It's not like you're handing me Who said r- he's putting raw them in a bag, bars. Yeah, he might just bring them over on that. Hey, route. you know what? Then I got to eat a fucking poop cover. His butthole's allergic to plastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's how no his latex. boyfriend says. <laughs> <laughs> That's latex. <sighs> Sheepskin, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's some PBR. He's got some those. sheepskin bags. Yeah. If, yeah, if you, if you, if like? you really like sheep, AIDS. Sheepskin jacket. Is that, is that Eastern European jizz? <laughs> jizz. It's it's jizz. Great jizz movie. All over great Sean's movie. tent. Uh, yeah, let's not talk about that. Movie. Right, no, mar- let's do talk about Let, it. How I almost got hit in the fucking head with a green propane <laughs> tank. <laughs> Because we were squirting lotion on your tent, and let's let's be honest, it was very impressive. We were about thirty fucking feet yeah, away, all the way pounding the, the top of this lotion bottle, and it was just landing perfectly on your tent. And every time it landed and dripped, we said, "It's jizz." jizz. <coughs> okay, now let's look at it from my way. Who did I ride up there with? Our fucking buddy Nick, who gets up a- very AKA early, four o'clock in the morning. Nick, oh, it's time to leave. These assholes are up drinking still. It's 3.30. I know I'm going to have to get up in a fucking at least an hour. So I'm trying to get as much sleep as I can. And all of a sudden I hear. <laughs> it's cheese. <laughs> it's cheese. 
So I get up. Exploding object. So I get up and I grab the nearest thing to me to throw at them, which happened to be a. No, it wasn't. You you (laughs) you skipped your dildo and went right for the fucking. (laughs) Bro, you don't throw away. Do I throw this fucking five thousand? Do I throw this? Big fucking throbbing you don't, dildo. Or you don't this throw tank? a Fistmaster 5000. You know how hard those are to get? Yeah, I think those are discontinued now. Yeah. Too his, many injuries. Yeah. His fucking name's. You wonder why I walk with a limp. <laughs> so I pick up a empty green propane tank. It wasn't empty. It didn't have a lid on it, so it looked <laughs> empty to me. And I hurl it in their general direction, and I somehow. Cleared off an entire picnic Everything. table full of Everything shit. Everything there's got to be thirty things on this picnic table, and somehow this bottle takes off. Everyone sends them flying into the <laughs> air. It hit directly in the middle and cleared the table off. <laughs> I've never, I'll never be able to do it again. It was the best shot ever. Almost as good as when I smacked myself in the head with a bat. Oh God! I literally looked for over twenty minutes to find that mm. GIF video of the dude hitting the car and the baseball bat <laughs> smacking him in the face. So let's set the scene. <laughs> if we no, we're just gonna go through this one quick. I'm a fucking idiot. I hit a two liter bottle with no, a no, bat. No, 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 no. We my hand we slipped talked off. about Frankie's fucking tattoo for like Fra- a half hour. Because Frankie's tattoo <laughs> is a half hour conversation. Me smacking myself in the head with a bat. And then going to Baraboo Hospital and taking 22 stitches in the eye. Well, let's, okay, for everybody listening, let's, this is like a PSA, you know? I <laughs> yeah, mean, no, this we is don't want this happening be to other kids out there idiot. traveling to the Dells. Like, we need we need to talk about this. Right, like a, like a, a one liter or even like a 20 ounce soda could be dangerous to a little kid. Like, Shut if there's up. a fucking full two-liter bottle on a picnic table, it's not a fucking good idea to hit it with a baseball bat. No, I'm just not. saying. Hey. It ricochets. <laughs> Speaking of ricochet, we can talk about that in a minute. It ricochets back and fucking hits you in the face. <laughs> the bat does, not the bottle. The bottle just falls over very gently. No, the bottle yeah. went about two inches and <laughs> flopped over like a 50-year-old cock. <laughs> and the bat swung back and hit him square in the, in the eye. The uh, skull pretty good. Split his eye open. It hit me. Uh, to your defense, in, you fucking said, "Ooh, that, oh, ooh, that hurt a little bit, hurt. but I'm all right." Was my exact word. And then he word. packed his all his shit up, <laughs> which which was a full tent that I packaged nicely with a Wh- concussion. Oh, hundred percent concussion. <laughs> Package that up nicely. Well, you couldn't test him because he was. I mean, He's on a mission. Yeah, yeah. Well, you fucking. I then don't I think you could spell his name anyway. <laughs> there's an S in there, right? There's an S in there, right? But then there's a. Yeah. I'm not the best speller. At least I spelled our fucking podcast don't right. Don't play with matches. <laughs> so I pack up everything. This dude I met that weekend drove me to Baraboo Hospital and hung out for two hours while this doctor decided to be, uh, instead of throwing like eight stitches in and just sealing the bitch up, decides he's going to be a facial reconstructive surgeon and take fucking three hours closing my fucking eyeball out. Yeah, he went in that shit tight. I mean, look how beautiful your face is now, though. Yeah. You should that, doctor. Yeah, I only look like sloth on Thursdays. <laughs> you know what he said when he was squirting that shit in your eyes? Jizz. Jizz. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was. Oh, shit. I just laid back, enjoyed my hangover and my minor concussion, and tried not to fall asleep. The rough one wasn't so much the 22 in the eye brow, it was the five in the eyelid where my eyelid tore. That sucked. <laughs> I mean, was it the alcohol that made you think it was a good idea? That and the fact that I wanted to smack one of the other campers in the head with the bat, so I figured I'd hit the two-liter bottle instead. You showed him. This is going to be you. <laughs> I didn't say that. Actually, my favorite So part- if it was him, technically he would have beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You lost that one. Yeah, I, I haven't I seen I lost you lose that any one. fights, but my, that one you would have lost. I'm sorry, though. My favorite one of the whole thing, from what I, from everything I remember of it, was blockhead over everybody. <gasps> Ooh, you're going to need stitches. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would have super glued that stitches bitch together. Stitches Cares they ever have that. Dude, there's probably more chicks in the back of blockhead's pickup than has ever sat in there in, their, in his entire life. Guess how many they're, fucked. 
<laughs> zero. <laughs> we'll just we'll just put that out there. Zero. He's one of those guys that just went straight for the fucking friend zone. Yeah. And there's a fucking fuck ton out there. <sighs> I don't even fucking know what to say about this. Just don't. I mean, let's talk about the friend zone for a second now. No. Why not? Because he's been there too often. How, is this I, sensitive I, for you, I, Sean? I, I visit the friend zone because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> nice yes. guys finish last. You're too true. fucking nice. Yeah. You see, bitches don't want to fucking. I'll murder. I know. Faces too. That's I mean, a sad you, thing. you brought a girl to the Bears game and she was texting her boyfriend while you were at the Bears game. It happens. It, it doesn't she happen. Mar- she married that dude. So she married right. him. It's all right. Maybe you're like. Uh, Good luck, Chuck. No, that's hundred <laughs> percent. That's me for sure. No, Frankie. Actually, sure. like three exes now are married with really shitty kids. Yeah, when you and get I'm not to sad like about it. Twenty of them or thirty of them come talk to me. Yeah, well, Frankie, when you're banging fucking fifteen year olds as they're getting out of high school, that, because that, you got a driver's license. When I was sixteen, <laughs> that's different. Yeah, we don't want to imply rape here. Yeah, no, that's different. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, so they're eighteen. There's they just, times they just read at a sophomore the level. There were some times back mm. at your house back in the day. I don't know how we went through two kegs <laughs> in like two hours. We were like, we'll be good all night. We'll even have beer left over tomorrow. <sighs> two hours later. That's because I had 72 people in the basement. Dude, that was a rager. My favorite thing about that house is in the corner where you had the, the plywood set up. Bottle. The wall that you could just sh- throw bottles of beer when you finished them at the wall and shatter them, and then we just cleaned it at the end of the month. The best part of that was we're smashing <laughs> these bottles because we're going to make a table We out were going to make a table out of it. And everyone goddamn knew that no one was making a fucking table no. out but, of it. But eventually we were going to make a table out of it. Didn't happen. Did you make a table out of it? No, I. Uh, it was uh, exactly. 15 five-gallon bucket trips up a flight of stairs to the garbage can, and the garbage can literally weighed... Oh, uh, 300 pounds when they picked it up. I mean, but it was a good, fun challenge. Like, you wanted to chug your beer to smash it against the wall even fast. It gave you a reason to drink. And you know what? How many fights were at that house? Um, I feel like there's quite a few. <laughs> Verbal spats, but there was never really any physical thing, except for the kid that got knocked out because he put the boxing gloves on. Yeah. No, I... I... It was some crazy times. That was one. T- that was one place that I n- couldn't believe they never called the cops on us. I mean, it'd be three thirty in the morning. Music's fucking blaring, and t- they're, they're they're just letting us go all night. No no issues. I mean, that was back in the day. Nowadays, you'd be cops be there in five minutes at ten thirty five because ten thirty noises. You know, noise orderings. I remember we were at Mike's watching the fight, and his fucking he said, check out my new stereo. He bumped his stereo. He's like. Next day, sends me a picture. Cops came, gave me a ticket. That was like right after we left. Right, yeah. Like we, it was right after the fight. He showed it. We were leaving. It was like for 30 seconds, and he got like a $150 noise ticket. Like, come on. We were way less. He well, still the blames was, us for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we weren't even there. Crown will be, he forgives you. You know what I mean? Crown's his, his go to for anything. Well, we all have that one friend that fucking turns this shit up to 11, no matter what. Yeah, it puts in a fucking good. dick down CD. It's like fucking two o'clock in the morning. Some fucking uh, pretty Ricky's playing and he's just cranking it. The fucking owner of the house comes over. Fuck it. Turn it down. Turns it down. Three minutes later. Walks away. 11. It just creeps back up. Back to 11. Back to 11. You know, my favorite things are the sound boxes. They're not I think that wet was one enough of the best yet. Investments. They're not wet enough yet. <laughs> We won't. We this won't. pretty Ricky needs to play. We won't, we won't talk about wet enough and on the couch and like you. You read when I'm smoking. Oh you, yeah, yeah. We won't talk about. Well, that. the story I was going to talk about last week. I started about you know our imaginary friend Mike, and uh, it's funny how you you get so fucked up and like you just you don't admit shit. You know, I was so fucked up on his couch. There was one of those ashtrays. Like you see at a bar, one of those big fucking black ashtrays you see at a bar. I fucking puked. I filled it perfectly. It stopped right at the fucking top, right on the fucking coffee table in the middle of the fucking front room. And, uh, yeah, then I passed out. Someone woke me up, and they're like, well, there's fucking puke in here. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll work it out. I'll do it. I've been there. I've done that. I remember I was with some people at this hookah bar in the city. And we drank a bottle of vodka on the way up there. 
I was complete. I don't. I hate vodka. Jameson agrees with me. Vodka doesn't. And I was smashed. Then we're smoking all this hookah. You're getting that body buzz going. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm going to puke. And we're sitting outside at this garden bar. And uh, <laughs> thank God I had a finished drink. I grabbed the cup, puked at it all the way to the top. And then just like, all right, it's time to go. Just left it there. That chick was probably like, what the fuck is in this cup? You know where else you puked? That's all over the side of my fucking truck. Yeah, that was inside. Also, that was the worst. You, all, you also left a Coke in there in the winter, and it exploded all over the truck. It like so yeah. blew their brains out that truck. Just <laughs> <laughs> looked like just brain matter all over the roof. Yeah, I mean, I've done some stupid The best things. part was what, you puked all over the, well, technically my door, and then all the over wind, the outside the of the door. Yeah, you tried puking outside. And I'll give you credit. Real low. I tried to make it. And it was the like most enjoyment I got out of that was watching you clean it up in the morning, <laughs> hung over as fuck, just scrubbing my door panel. That was my 18th birthday. Oh, boys. Should we, should I tell the country blunder story? Oh, please do. I mean, oh, please do. This story is legendary, folks. So we have a country music festival that comes to our town every year and we all hate it because it's I've never been it's it, it the the you. crowd the crowd of people that it brings into the town are uh they're not hillbillies because a hillbilly doesn't show up in a 7 series Lexus <laughs> with cowboy boots on Daisy Dukes and a fucking hat there want to be fucking country fruits that pretty much date rape broads in a cornfield all weekend. <laughs> so anyway, to the story. We have a buddy who is home on leave. A Marine who was literally five foot six, a hundred, a hundred and hundred and what? Thirty five pounds at with a brick in his pocket. Yeah. And I was scared shitless of him. I'm 6'4", 280. So <laughs> he hops in his truck, loads everybody up. They go over to Country Thunder. I'm working. I get home, and everybody is beyond fucked up, but they're all fucking dying laughing except for the Marine. <laughs> As he is outside with a hose spraying down the vinyl seats in his truck. <laughs> so what had happened was a young lady decided she was going to beer bong a bottle of Captain Morgan. Oh, I miss beer bongs. I cannot do one now. She did it. She gets in the truck, and all of a sudden everybody's like, what the hell is that smell? It smells like shit in here. Who stepped in shit? They open the door. <laughs> this girl falls out of the truck, face down, ass up, wearing a skirt and a thong, mind you, and oh. she is covered in shit. So what happened was she got so drunk, she lost control of her bowels and shit all over my buddy's truck. <laughs> I knew some of the EMTs, and I, in fact, I knew the lady that had to wipe said ass because that's what job I don't ever want. She looked like a toddler that had the case of the worst shits ever. Could pay me enough. See, that's why I, why I never gone. That doesn't sound like I don't want to shit my pants. <laughs> I've been close a few times. Definitely close. Mm -hmm. why, why do you call this weed the brown bomber? Because you get so stoned, you shit your pants. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I already shit my pants once this month. I'm good. Uh, I remember when one time we were driving for like an hour and Jeff's fucking going to a lady friend. And I'm going to meet some lady friend there. So, you know what I mean? I'm like, bro, stop at this gas station. Nope. Nope. Ten gas we were stations. almost there. We were almost there. Ten gas stations later. It almost like 45 minutes. We finally get there, and I'm dying. And this guy, we get on the elevator. They're, like, on the seventh floor. And he decides to hit every fucking button He's like, on the way He's like, I got his shit so fucking bad. <laughs> I said, bro, I got almost you. Almost there. I got you. I didn't even say hi to anyone. I walked in. Right, He's like, I what floor into the is it? I'm like, it's on top. <laughs> the penthouse suite. It didn't look like a penthouse. It's a normal apartment. Yeah, it looked like a flop house is what it looked like. Either way, <laughs> I lit that house. fucking elevator up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> 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 oh, 
shit. You just know those nights, like, the other night, like, we went out, and we were eating, and it was the worst. I, I worked through work, my lunch, and, you know, they, they ordered White Castle. I will not eat White Castle anymore. Don't How many White Castles did you eat, Frankie? I won't eat White oh, Castle anymore. <laughs> and then I ate after, White Castle. After yesterday. You say that every time, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's like I, a, I had, like, six in, like, Bro, a I will eat White Castle seven days a week and not even be sad about it. Oh, oh bro. There, how many times do we leave the bar and get it You at, won't like, be sad morning? about it, but your butthole's crying for oh. your life. The worst is, like, when we did it, when you guys were DJing, and after the show, I was starving. We're wasted. The only thing that's open, Taco Bell's closed at two, but White Castle's still open. So we went and got a couple Crave cases. This this to be the next day that we're going on the boat all day. Oh, God, that was the worst. I had to go Why back to... is that? Why? Okay, let's talk about Taco fucking Bell quickly. All right? So I, I don't Once even again, give a not fuck. not one of our sponsors. I don't even give a fuck if they... Okay, Taco Bell needs to be open later. Most yeah. of them close at fucking midnight. Nobody wants Taco Bell until fucking... 2 a.m. Bar right. close. Open midnight to later till right. 2. It needs to be 2 Open or midnight later. or later. No, it needs to be open till 3 o'clock in the morning because you get out of the bar at 2.30. You get there. What they need to do time. is just shut the fucking place down between like 8 <laughs> to fucking midnight, okay? So they can go home, take a nice little nap, and then they can get back to making my goddamn fucking burrito. I need that shit after bar close. I mean, how many times do we go to the 24-7 McDonald's and they're closed? It's 24-7. How are they closed? No. I guess they're not anymore. I mean, when Hold I asked on. to talk to the manager, she's like, I am she. I, was I like, am oh, she. Great, I'm out of Why here. Why is it at every time at 2 o'clock in the morning the fucking McFlurry machine's broken? Because <laughs> it's what you want it the most. Every time. I don't give a fuck what state you live in. What country you live in? It's not really broken. They just need a trained employee in there. Yeah, and right. no one who's fucking... Has any common sense is working there at fucking three in the morning. Right. <laughs> Sometimes at three in the morning, I would like a hot fudge Sunday. Mm. Yeah, I bet you would. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, that should be something. I don't know what that's any sexual reference, but it should be one. A hot fudge Sunday just sounds dirty at three in the morning. It's where you what pop a nut be, in her ass and then she shits on your chest. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Wait, she shits on your chest? And then yeah, you because come the, on top for no, the drizzle? No, 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 the drizzle's already in. She so pushes the, the drizzle anywhere. out. Where is it at? Our butthole? In the old uh, keister, in the old prison wallet. Mm. Yeah, that's where I keep uh, Sean's edibles. Yes, deep, deep, <laughs> deep inside. That's why they're so potent. Right, because it's soaking up all the THC in and my body. And while I'm sitting there wondering what the fuck is going on, if I have shit and cum on my chest, she, she leaves the room and it, comes back carrying a banana. <laughs> <laughs> And then drops it on my chest. <laughs> I thought, I thought, in all honesty, I I'd thought be like, he, "This is fucking she's disgusting." Up the towel, right? That's what you thought he was going. No, with? no, no. no. She I thought, banana, I thought he was I'm going with like, the mixed nuts they put on the Sundays. Oh, mm. or a bottle of whipped cream. Ooh, a little cherry on top. Hey, God. I'm oh, fucking hungry, guys. So we just ate. I'm the fat one, right? I know, but that fucking no, Sunday's I, I'm got me. I'm the fat one. You're fucking. <laughs> you're medium. It's like a small, medium, and large pitcher in here. <laughs> Who's medium? It's like it's just I'm like medium. It's You're just, definitely small. It's just really? like it's, yeah. It's, I mean, you got your sleeves cut off and suns out, guns out right now, looking good in your neon green. It's it's like a fucking really shitty before and after picture. <laughs> it's before, mid, after. Uh, you know what? Like living in the glory days. Like you want to go back always, but I'm happy right now. I mean. Yeah, because you're making way more money than Doing you did what? back then. <laughs> money helps. <laughs> but, I mean, just, you know, I like to eat. And when you got money, you don't care about going out and eating. It's That's just, you know, that's just, that's fuel. And I, I like to stay, I like to keep the, the tank on full. You know what I mean? Yeah, I full of me. mini corn dogs and <laughs> mozzarella sticks. Mm. I did go to the doctor and my doctor yeah, had no they said, time. Yeah, they said. They so said, bitch, they're like, oh, you fucking eat like a 12 year old. They like, said, wow, I delicious. didn't, I've never seen someone's blood type as barbecue sauce. Yeah, right. He, he did right <laughs> off the bat say, hey, man, you're getting fat. You need to slow down. Hey, Doc, it's nice to see you too. How's my blood work? Oh, that's that real confidence boost that I needed in the morning. Yeah, right. And I'm like, I'm not fat. I'm just, you know, I've been dirty bulking. I'm, I'm you know, I'm husky. He's like, no, nah, you need to lose like 25 pounds. So now I'm on a diet. I have a salad with my steak and fries and. Baked potato and buffalo wings and mozzarella sticks and nachos and cheese. Because I like variety. Whose pen is that? Not mine. 
I don't do those things. I like regular, did you regular hit flour. Did yes. you hit that pen? I cannot say that because I don't want to lose my job. Well, he's that CBD. Whose bro. pen is that? Uh, it's it's mine. It's my ballpoint. I like to sign autographs after the show. Why would you like my pen? No, I it's, can't have your pen. I was just wondering whose pen that was. I was seeing if you guys are on the level. It's a know, nice pen. I mean, listen, I live on that level. Vitamins are an essential part of your day. Right Can't we just say that we're in Illinois right now? No, this? no, because <laughs> that's not how it works. Next episode how it works. at my house. No, nope. episode. No, nope. no. Nope. The only time the we're doing like it. he wants to be in the gentleman's. The den. only time we're doing anything outside the gentleman's den is when it's negative thirty six. I got a heater, bro. It's two thousand nineteen. Look at that space heater over there. <laughs> the one right from next the to 80s? the dirt bike that doesn't run. <laughs> How dare you shut your mouth from the 80s. Yeah, the space heater. Everything is. awesome came from the fucking 80s. Yeah, you love the 80s. You just like bright colors. Well, I was born in the 80s. So was I. You know what I love doing? My girlfriend's younger, so I love <laughs> watching 80s movies that she has no idea what they are. Or and what then the after we're done are? watching them, she's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, crazy. you didn't want to watch The Giver? Even the kids, you know, like, I'm like, hey, let's fucking watch Willow. Yeah, that's an awesome movie. They actually enjoyed it. I know, and that's crazy. It's See, a great movie. Yeah. Well, it probably has you know one what, of though? the best scores in movie history. Willow goes here. Willow goes in the same vein as Lord of the Rings and shit like that. Willow is, Willow is Lord of the Rings condensed down into an hour and a half. Yeah. If you want to sit they use, through and fucking they use the 12 real hours Willow person. of bullshit. And they use the real little person, unlike Lord of the Rings, where they just I got mean, is there any five foot four and than fucking Harry actors? That's Mad Mortigan. It's magic. It's getting the magic. World. Hmm? Well, yeah, I, I haven't Hogwarts. seen. I haven't seen Harry Potter. See, that's any of it. Out. I watched the first one and I said I'm done. Man, I, there's like mm. eight of them. I think they're they're good. How many? Fantasy, man. Open, Fantasy, just imagine. Man. Yeah, just imagine. <laughs> Open your imagination. Uh, Frankie's tombstone is gonna say "Just Imagine" on it. Yeah, because I, I like to imagine things. But then, you know... Yeah, mostly about being thin. Yeah. Mm. Remember when I was? Ooh. Glory days. Back Balls to the glory thin. days. Balls when I could thin. read the tattoo on my waist. <laughs> now I need Without a mirror. A mirror. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's no, man, I've been eating better this week. I skipped, like, uh, lunch four days out of the week, so... Yeah, well, then you went home and power jammed down just a tube of Twinkie filling. No, Chipotle every night. It's on the way. It's just... It's perfect. Well, at least we know you're regular. Yeah, you know, chicken. How dare you? Jeff how dare I've you? I've seen Jeff eat like two double chicken. Well, how dare you make city. fun of me? You just, when I was like working out and getting fit, you're like, all you do is eat chicken every day. I had the fucking Chipotle <laughs> recipe. I used to make Chipotle it was good. I had chicken wait. at my house and make Chipotle burritos at my house. Motherfucker. And now you're telling me you eat Chipotle every day. Motherfucker, all you still eat is just chicken. Yeah, you're, you're still a big chicken guy. You you have a steak once every once in a while. You look at a menu, it's like, oh, uh, chicken strips. I oh, ate that steak last night. Hope you enjoyed it. How fucking fuck, dare you both? <laughs> What'd you have today? Oh, chicken quesadilla. What is this, a fucking chicken intervention? <laughs> <laughs> Too much chicken. Eat more cows. Do you guys fucking corner me to talk about chicken? Yeah. Chicken is fucking great. Yeah, well, it if is. you eat any more, you're going to have fucking feathers. How dare you? Yeah. The only, I don't have a problem with you eating chicken every day. I just don't believe in like pre meals, pre prep, you know, meals and shit, and then reheating them in the microwave. It defeats the purpose of a lot of the, the proteins and bullshit. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. It does. Microwaves are horrible. Microwaves yeah. are not horrible. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Mm-mm. Google you it. You See, Google, the I problem it. It is. Says you fucking suck. The problem is you went to fucking college to be a personal trainer, which you never use, clearly. Ever. <laughs> okay. And then some guy who you went to school with. Was jacked as fuck. Told you microwaves suck. They've diminished this, and ever since then, all you say is, oh, "I'll use microwave." Yet it was in the textbook. Yet there is what textbook? There is fifty-five million nutrition companies that pre-package your meals that send them to you for you to microwave them. All the food. Have you done any? I'm just gonna say this. Have you done any research yourself, or are you just taking what that guy told you? Is it you? just bro science? I could, I could find it on the internet. There's everything out there. It, no, yeah. Well, there's also shit on the internet too that says Johnny did one bindle of marijuana and he became <laughs> Dog the Bounty Hunter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I mean. And now it's legal. So there's a picture I saw the other day about some. There's 
a guy and a girl, butt naked, and he was blowing a tuba into her ass. And the title was, was he This is up? What Happens, <laughs> this is what happens When You Smoke Marijuana. This was an actual ad from back in the day. <laughs> no, so it, apparently it, it wasn't you a tuba. smoked weed, it, you fucking blew a tuba. It was a French horn. It wasn't a tuba because it had the curve He was in it. band. He knows. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Sean. It was a French, French horn. French horn. My God. I'd See, a tuba's rough. rough. She would actually have to sit on top of it. This was a French horn. It was it a curved. fucking instrument you blow in. <laughs> and it had a big opening at the end. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Uh, if you were to say, it's oh, all oh bro that's science. a drum drum set. Yeah, it's a drum set. Look at it. up my ass. Here. That's fine. Tuba, baritone, clarinet. Oh, he's, he's I don't it know out. what these are. He's losing, it, he's losing this shit already. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, we just drank a Wheel, cup of Jameson. Wheels are coming off this All I said was someone was blowing a horn into <laughs> someone's asshole. And Sean's like, that's not a fucking tuba. No, <laughs> you, you said tuba, sir. I was I just know, correcting you. I was, I, hey, Vanessa, every little bit of knowledge helps. I don't have a lot of that, so these guys yeah, are we, constantly we correcting know. me. I mean, I've seen uh, Jeff. I mean, remember how many times we would be eating Papa John's, like, crazy and the garlic mm. sauces he would be opening them up and he'd be like these guys are idiots look at these fucking idiots they want me to tear and shake this thing i'm gonna tear it open and shake it all over the place and i'm like laughing you know he's a better reader than i am he's better in school better grades and uh Not really. yeah i finally take the time after about 10 years to take a look at one of them and it doesn't say tear and shake it says shake and share Tear and share. See, you can't even get it right. Share and tear. See how easy tear that is. And share. See how easy of a s- mistake that was. Tear yeah. and share, sir. I mean, tear and share. All right, maybe wh- whatever it did say, you didn't read it right in ten years. It doesn't you, even you matter because I don't want to fucking share it. <laughs> I don't want to tear and shake. Yeah, I don't want to tear and share. No, I'm that tearing, garlic sauce. I'm tearing. It's one person I'm only. tearing, dipping. That's it. Because you, you're double dipping for sure, a piece. Oh. It's, there is no way you take one of those garlic sauces and you say, oh, one dip. Mm. I hate when that was good. eat mozzarella mm. sticks and they dip one side in the sauce, mm. take a bite, and then they dip it back in. It's like, dude, flip it over. Come on now. Have some. Have a little bit of courtesy. A little, little decorum when it comes to the sauce. Have some courtesy. Right, courtesy. I That's know it. some of the girls you've gone down on. <laughs> courtesy. Okay, and you're over there fucking... That's why you got you don't call it no you gotta Double call it favor it's like hey babe will you do me a favor and then it just sounds better than hey you want to suck my dick like that, I mean it, it works I try it out there if you bring it as a favor and then you always got to do bets too like hey I bet you this I bet you one you know favor see I think that's your problem though I don't I have mean, problems yeah <laughs> like that yeah you do I think I think girls fall for that but I mean you're, you're getting older now women. you need to find a fucking woman. That'll bring you Diet Cokes and give you back rubs because she doesn't want you to have all the calories. Right. See, that's She's like, really baby, cares. I care about you. You're like, shit. She brings Coke Zeros. Mm-hmm. I won't drink it. Pepsi Clear. No, but she's what she's going to do is she's going to get a like a liter bottle like there, dump out all the regular Coke or just switch out the label. Isn't that an urban myth that you get like drunk? Like if you're having a Jameson and Coke, if you have Diet Coke with it, you get dr- more drunk? That's an urban myth. It is sir. a myth. That's what I mm-hmm. thought. I, it's 100% people, well, real gets you more drunk i'm having a diet coke. have you done any see we're just spitballing here. has anyone done any research on this because i have dude extensively i've bartended That's... for fucking 100 years oh are you a fucking scientist <laughs> he's a mixologist I'm sorry does bro. that qualify mixologist no, it's the amount of liquor to liquor to fucking something about liquid diet volume. coke <laughs> he's got a degree in that or is it a license it's, just it's like all I went it gets you drunker it's all bro science drunker a word how, I think it's more How about you just drink it straight like a fucking that man? That sounds like an idea. Let's have one of those. I guess we'll have a sip. So, you still got that whole glass over there? Did you finish it already, you lush? Let's talk about the... Uh, what was we the, were talking about the Dells before. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I got, I got plenty in here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> what was the topic that you... We're talking about that I didn't know about that well, we were supposed we'll, to talk we'll about. We'll get to that in a little bit. I want to talk about... Do we get any e- emails? Any suggestions for gentlemen check. of the week? Busy <laughs> he didn't. No, he no, I did sorry. check, and we didn't get shit. All right, so I'm gonna nominate someone for gentleman of the week. I'm gonna talk about <laughs> another Dell's trip we went on. This guy, this is the gentleman of the year. 
He was so fucking hammered drunk. He put up a tent. It's like a one-person tent. He had his motorcycle in it. His (laughs) girlfriend slept on a blow-up mattress outside of the tent. Gentleman of the year. That's a good nominee. Oh, That's a good nominee, right? It's almost as good as the guy that let... The girl that never rode a motorcycle before. It was, yeah. it was the same guy. It was the same we actually, guy. We actually were talking about that like a couple weeks. It's the ago. same guy. She smoked into it. She smoked it into a tree and it broke the clutch handle off. You had to put pliers on it or so. Yeah, he had. Uh, oh, that was hilarious. Vice grips or whatever the fuck they are. Dude, the Dells has been he had, so much fun for so many years. He had vice grips on his bike. Yeah, that was his clutch. That was his clutch. <laughs> if she would have snapped the brake off, I mean that's fine. But the clutch. Right. Yeah. I mean the brake. You don't need brakes. Yeah, fuck breaks. But I need to shit, bitch. I I thought that that was. I mean, he thought he was cool. Hey, baby, you want to ride my motorcycle? And you know, <laughs> and you know how much ass he got out of that? <laughs> Done. Zero. Zero. A lot of ass. In the Zero. Zero. Talk about so the uh, the story I was gonna tell is about my uh, trip to Taco Bell and my secret admirer. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it. So I go to fucking Taco Bell the other day. It's a pretty fucking long line. So I'm about uh, 20 cars deep. And, He's always uh, starving. Yeah. So I'm just sitting in line. It's long as fuck. So I'm just looking at my phone and I'm like creeping up. The lady in front of me, I can see in her side mirror that uh, she's giving me a little old fuck me eyes. Uh-oh. I'm like, what the fuck's? Like, I'm in a minivan. So you know I got kids, and I'm pretty much fucking locked up. You know what, out. though? That's why she was giving you She might have been. Dude, he can make a commitment. She's like, wow, this guy don't give a fuck about nothing. He's driving a minivan. So anyway, we go through, blah, blah, blah. And uh, after about 16 hours later, I get up to the window to get my food, and the guy goes, the lady in front paid for your meal. And I said, what? pretty nice he's like yeah she paid for your meal and i was like is this like a you know i've heard about like the pay it forward so i was like is this like a pay it forward he's like no she just she said she was gonna pay for your meal and i was a nice lady yeah it was nice and uh i was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna pay it forward i'll pay for the the guy behind me his meal which was two fucking high school kids (laughs) playing fucking (laughs) old town road jamming oh my god so you goddamn know that pay it forward ended right, right at there. that car and i would have said please spit in their bag about 12 times but the other thing that pissed me off is that my burritos were four dollars <laughs> and the person behind me who i paid it forward was nine dollars oh <laughs> you got the five dollar come up so i appreciate this lady's generosity but this bitch cost me five bucks. <laughs> she, caught you, she caught you on the five. But that's usually what happens with the ladies. They'll cost, cost you five you bucks. Because <laughs> I've heard, you know, the pay it forward thing. Like, yeah. they see how long it goes, like, down the line. How lo- how many cars go to pay it forward. So I was like, fuck it, yeah, I'm fucking, no, yeah. And I guarantee, I guarantee fucking tea. She had the right idea. She actually, you know, she didn't know hey. she was going to fuck you out of five. But you got a good heart, too. Hey, but think about those kids, though. They're like. At nine dollars, bro, we could get a bigger bag of weed now. <laughs> you mean I get another, another bag of weed? Another bag. Of weed. Almost two nickel bags, guys. If you do the Ooh. math. Damn. See, that's a come up for us. They don't. They don't make nickel bags no more. Man. <laughs> that's not a thing. <laughs> nickel bag. Was, that's a thing. They of were the past. five bucks, man, back in my day. <laughs> Almost like long the ten dollar coke teener. Long time ago. We won't but no, that those. was fucking. I. I I was fucking blown away. I was right, like, because you don't see too much of that anymore, and you wish you did. I mean, like, there's there's been times, you know, the cops nowadays, they're just handing out, like, drinking tickets and DUIs and drunk in public, and, you know, they'll throw the book at you. Jaywalking, I think, is a real thing now. I thought that that was just a myth back in the day. I remember when we were wasted after you I thought were it was something your parents told you to scare you from walking in the street, <laughs> you know? Yeah, until you get a jaywalking ticket in Lake Geneva. <laughs> yeah, I got a parking ticket. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, just mm. like, just recently, we uh, but you, you know we we were drinking and, and it was the DJing for a beer pong tournament, we're drinking all day. I mean, we weren't too smashed, but we were pretty smashed. And we get no, stopped. I was at, fucked up. Yeah, I mean, we shouldn't have been driving. 
You know, this is a long time ago. We, we were, were young we, and dumb. Did we have two steering wheels in the car? I shouldn't have been driving. You should, yeah. I mean, come on. It was it was good times. And That's the power of hunger. That's the power of hunger. Right. Taco Bell at 2 a.m. is the worst and best thing in the world. So we, we went to get some food, and then we were going to go back to the house and crash, and we get pulled over, and there's a uh, a DUI stop for Summerfest on you know the highway. No, there was a Dave station. Matthews concert yeah, going on in Alpine Valley. Dave Matthews, Valley. Like Dave Matthews. <laughs> favorite band. Yeah, I remember it. I almost got a fucking DUI and arrested. I remember every fucking detail. <gasps> well, there's good. The cops officer out there. had fucking Old Spice cologne on. <laughs> <laughs> And the, and the fucking the guy who came over to the fa- passenger side to look up and you had some fucking Aspen shit on. I don't know what was going on. See, I now that's painting a picture it. for the listeners. Yes. And so I knew it. They're, they're like, you guys been drinking and doing all this, you know, stuff party in the night. We're like, yeah, having a good time. And uh, aren't you professional? Very professional. Frankie's phone's going off right now. <laughs> Old Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, he is doing this. He's podcast got his sunglasses, the sunglasses on the on entire time. I got sensitive eyes. All right. This room is literally almost pitch black. <laughs> Should we put the I, red I light on for you? It to make you more comfortable? It's pretty much the mixer lights and my computer screen is what we're seeing. I just don't want to look at your ugly mugs. So we're sitting in this DUI stop. And we, we they asked, we've been drinking. And I told you, no, right the off the bat, as soon as we pulled up to the stop, I was like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. I am going to yeah, jail. I remember you repeating that. And then I'm the going to jail. Up, You've been drinking? Be honest with them. Yep. You told them, yep. You guys drunk? <laughs> well, my yeah. uncle's a cop, and he's like, what did he say to me? He's like, be honest, be polite, and keep your fucking hands where I can see them. <laughs> yep. And then those, those are three rules that you should always abide by because you never know. Well, if you're honest, you at least have a chance. Right. If you lie, they know you're fucking lying. You right. are fucked. And then they, they want to stick it to you. Just that's right. it to everything. Just They're be like, honest. this motherfucker? So, so you told Oh, you haven't been, been drinking? drinking? You smell like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? He's got a little tiger blood in him. His <laughs> sodium levels are through the roof, and he smells like Christian Slater. Yeah. <laughs> so we were honest. That's Charlie Sheen, by the way, tiger blood. They asked if we could, where we were going. We told them we were going to go get some food. We were DJing. How much you been drinking? All pitchers of beer and shots all day. And you I know, said we just came from a beer pong tournament. Yeah, I've been DJing all day <laughs> and drinking. What the fuck you think? <laughs> and uh, th- they were like, okay, well, do you have anyone that could pick you up? And you know, Well, he said, really cool. he's like, where are you going? Let- yeah, we were going to get food. How fucked up are you? Let me tell this story. <laughs> I was fucked up, and I fucking remember every goddamn detail of this story because I was, my butthole was already clenched because I thought I was going to jail. Yeah, I mean. I was already Googling Taekwondo classes, like getting ready for prison. <laughs> getting prepped. Like, I, gonna, I, gotta, I just got to take the biggest guy out all first right. day. So the story goes, Jeff gets pulled over at the DUI stop. He goddamn right. The cop comes up to the window. What does Jeff do? I told him I was going to get McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he's asked if we were drinking, whatever. I told him we were fucked up, yada, yada. I said I was going to McDonald's and I'm going home. I live right in down this fucking street. Blah, blah, blah. He's fucking, the, oh, can we search your vehicle? I'm like, and you gave him the permission. Well, I was like, I, there's nothing in here. But He's like, I, I guarantee. Have. I guarantee. I mean, he fucking <laughs> slapped a goddamn guarantee on it. <laughs> I guarantee we going to find some shit if we search your vehicle. I was like, search it. Fine. I don't give a fuck. I don't have nothing in here. And I stood up and said, well, I do. Frank is it's like, mine. It's mine. It's be honest with you. Let's Let's keep it real. Let's keep it honest like we said. So the cop's like, let me see it. So Frankie whips out his little baggie. Which cop was not impressed. <laughs> not impressed. He's like, put it day. away, put it away. He's like, do you have anyone that can pick you up? I said, yeah, my sister. He's like, park by those white cars up there. There's like 15 white fucking cars up there. I'm like, which one? He's like, you know what? Let's go to McDonald's. Go the fuck home. Have a good night. And we're like, thank you, officer. You guys be safe. You have a great evening. And that was because you kept it real and was being honest and you didn't try to lie. And you know what I mean? All right. But on a side note, this was also now 10, 15 years ago. Jesus. So now if you do that, they would have drug your asses both out of the car. In cuffs. Cuffed you. Might have tased you. (laughs) The moral of the story, though, is if you ever get if you're ever dumb enough 
to be like us and drink and drive. When the cop pulls you over and asks you've been drinking, tell him yes. Be honest. Be honest. I'm dead fucking serious. If you're honest, you have a chance. If you lie and say no, I've been drinking, the no, cops gonna be like, it "All right." Infection, a speech impediment. And I've been training for getting <laughs> pulled over drunk. Oh, Jeff, God. hit him with the alphabet backwards. My entire life. Yeah, let me let me hear it. Let me hear it. Can you still do it? Hit him with it. Woo! Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Oh my God, that is just ridiculous. still can't do it. Okay, hey, we're, we're deep into been drinking already. <laughs> still can't do it. That's insane. I, I have been waiting my entire <laughs> life to be like, if you can do the alphabet backwards, I'll let you go. I'm like. Well, it just so happens I've been training for this the past fucking 10 years. Uh, so I'm about to be going home. Like the video where the guy's like dancing and she's like, he's like, I'm not drunk. And the cop's like, oh, yeah, you're a really good dancer. Yeah, only one I've been drinking. Oh, you got me. <laughs> That's some fucking reverse psychology shit oh, right yeah, there. The I'm, I'm sorry. One of my favorite ones to this day is the old man with the breathalyzer. And they try and they hand it to him. And he turns it up like it's a bottle. And the cop just starts <laughs> fucking laughing. That shit makes me fucking laugh because that cop goes, there's no way that old man is getting a DUI. He's just getting a ride home. Right, he's getting a ride home for sure. I remember when I wanted, I was like probably 15 or 16, I wanted to do a breathalyzer at this house party we were at. It was a college party over by uh, Super Foxes. We were just rolling dice all night. I walked in there with 10 bucks, walked out with like $117 like for rolling dice. Oh, yeah. That's when he blew the dude because he said he was a breathalyzer. Oh, yeah. That's what happened. Sean was there. Actually, I don't think you were there. Yeah, that's when Sean blew the leprechaun in the bathroom. <laughs> thought he, he thought he was going to give him one wish for a big dick like him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Never gave me those gold coins. Uh, we had like probably 30 people hiding in like two rooms and the cops. No, yeah, Dave was door. like halfway out the window. Right. And that's why they actually were like pounding because they seen someone trying to escape. We seen it. And they're like, why did we been pounding on the door for two hours? Why didn't you answer the, the door? We're and like, they're like, oh, you, oh, you sent the two sober people up to the door because <laughs> <laughs> everyone else was fucked up. All hiding in the rooms. And, you know, I wasn't really drinking at that age. I was more in the clouds and. I just thought it was kind of cool being talking to these cops and everyone's being real smart. And yeah, we didn't open the door because it's not our house. This guy's been sleeping. Why didn't you wake him up? Because he works all day, man. He's tired. And they, they, they gave everyone a breathalyzer. No one got any tickets or anything. And uh, I was the only one that didn't get to do it. I felt left out. Like I wasn't part of the group. I wasn't, you know. Because you would have ruined it for everybody, Frankie. Because they looked at you and said, that guy's fucked up. Probably the lazy eye. I probably, probably was giving him that, that look. I'm not fucked up. It's real simple. Frankie gets a lazy eye, and Jeff starts sneezing. And you know they're both oh, fucked. Oh, yeah. As soon as the sneezing starts, it's over. I don't know why. <laughs> I just start sneezing uncontrollably when I'm... S I get just super fucked up. I don't... It's always great when he does it behind the wheel of a car, too. It's right, you're just like, oh, not God, sketchy at all. No. Unlike the time... As I'm trying to eat my Taco Bell. <laughs> Unlike the time coming home from Chicago, where it took three of us to drive the vehicle. Yeah, it did. With the dude, remember the dude hanging out the window, doing the angry, <sighs> swerving through you. seven lanes of traffic? There's yeah. kids listening to this. Oh. This is an adult show. Don't Dude. be stupid. Right. Yeah. Young and dumb. Uber, Lyft, Learn from our mistakes. Driver. Yeah. We didn't have fucking Uber when I did this. Right. I mean, Uber. $20 home. is way cheaper than a DUI. A hundred percent, you know, and the amount of people we've lost because of drunk driving is it's fucking ridiculous. Right. Just when, RIP. You know, we've been to well, myself, I've been to 73 funerals for people that I went to school with or knew from partying. So, yeah. well, when you live in, you know, a state that's number one in drinking, you could drink out Miller Lite of like an entire state. What state was that? That was a that was a thing. Uh, Las Vegas. 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 Vegas, yeah. When they had, uh, Wisconsin played, Ve in, played in Vegas. What was it? Some kind of Rose, Rose Bowl? Rose yeah, Bowl. it was against... Nah, not the Rose Where's the... No, where they, fuck is the Rose they were Bowl? Playing, they were playing against UNLV. So there was some game. kind of... Yeah, they drank the entire... State, state out of Miller Lite. Well, the entire city of Las mm -hmm. Vegas out of Miller Lite. Like they had no Miller Lite. That's an accomplishment. Because Wisconsin invaded. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yet we won't legalize a plant that does nothing to you but make you it's happy. It's coming soon. The everybody. aliens are studying this state. I'm going to tell you this right now. Nope. They are watching us 
closely. We're all aliens. Frankie, the state of Wisconsin is run by the Tavern League, and they are too worried about their liquor sales dipping to legalize marijuana. And that's sad. That is sad. Because guess what? It if, helps so if, many people. If I'm smoking, I'm drinking as well. Yeah. I mean, realistically, cigarettes should be illegal. It's just it's poison, and it does nothing for you. But you know how many people still oh, smoke? Thank you. Smoke well, I'm smoking drinking. one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm being a hypocrite. smoker in this group. I, I quit for almost a year, and you know, started up, and you know, it, it is hard, but you, you gotta you gotta live your best life and be happy, and that's that's the most important thing. I know there's good times and bad, but you just gotta. You got to just live life and be happy. And that's what I am when I am with my best friends. I'm happy. I'm having a good time just hanging out and, you know, shooting this shit like always. And that's what you got to find is people that just make you happy and make them happy. Don't be, be a good friend. All right, Frankie. We'll give you your $5 when we're done with the Jesus podcast. Christ, Jesus, man. man. See, I'm getting money. I'm getting paid for this, guys. This <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> Wait, what's the money for? Well... Like I said, we'll pay you your five dollars for giving us all these compliments. Oh, okay, yeah. Jesus, I'm putting these guys on a pedestal. It's, it's 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 you know it's the truth though. I love you guys, my family. You gotta have your your, your friends and they they keep you going because that's what that's what when you're at work that's what you look forward to. Fuck this day, I don't want to be here. At least when I get out of here, I can go hang out with some friends or this weekend or. I look forward to going home and taking my fucking boots off. <laughs> that's what I look forward to. I got a problem with pants. <laughs> I hate wearing pants. I just want to get over and take my pants off all the time. Should have been a gym teacher so I could just wear <laughs> fucking jogging, shorts, yeah. have kids line up, get summers off. It would have been the greatest thing. But Yeah, but then you're the older you get, the shorter your shorts get, so your balls are hanging off like the left leg. Hey, man, I got some thigh-high shorts. I'm trying to stay trendy. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, this this – podcast this week is brought to you by the national coalition of fuck skinny jeans have some respect for your fucking balls hey man they, they're made with that stretch material and i'm all about stretch material what's worse though skinny jeans or jinkos Ooh, see but you got yeah, freedom to extreme. move with the jinkos i couldn't wear those mm. what's worse skinny jeans jinkos or mom jeans no what's worse is some fucking jordash is when you're wearing a pair of basketball shorts under a pair of skinny jeans you just no, look that like don't a, make any sense. you look like a fucking asshole yeah Who does that? stop that shit <laughs> stop that shit them right in the face stop i can't wait shit. for it to come back like in a full circle like the 80s did i want the 90s to come back with like platinum blonde hair with the black underneath and studded belts and shit you want you frosted want muffin tips tops i want and muffin tops frosted you want tops. Muffin tops jeans. and fucking frosted tips I want oh to see those my hips. god that's no, you don't. <laughs> uh, most of them you don't. That's why I think the girls love those fucking jeans up to their belly button. I can't it, stand it. I know. It's it not horrible. sexy. It's not. But it hides. It's probably comfortable. It hides the pouch. Yeah. I mean, Gentlemen, it's called the Gentleman's Den, so let's stop talking about hey, I love talking the about FUPAs. Ass. What? The fupas. I just liked when a girl's ass looked good Dang. in jeans nowadays. And well, that's true. It's it's the only thing that's saving it, us is ladies. Those fucking jeans that go to their <laughs> belly button, their ass just keeps rising. Yeah. Like where does it I st- where does it start? Where does it end? It's What's like a, a round mound of rebound. Part? It's like a fucking Charles Barkley fucking up to the bottom of their armpits. <laughs> I don't get it. What is going on over there? I know. Uh, well trends a so, little muffin top is fine it's it's the little, crop top shirts man i love, need the I love long ass jeans so you know what i mean curves on a woman are sexy just mom jeans aren't flattering and then now they're making all like the poofy stuff back wait till stuff with shoulder pads comes back <laughs> right <laughs> oh god well it looks like you'd actually be able to wear a shirt that you filled out finally hey man i looked for a smaller shirt they didn't have one Frankie's still shopping at Baby Gap. Hey, Baby Gap's got good prices. And with that being said, that brings us to the conclusion of another wonderful hour of this delicious banter served to you hot and fresh every Saturday from the Gentleman's Den. For Frankie, for Jeff, and for myself, thank you all for listening. Come on back next week, and we'll sure we'll have more 
wonderful conversation about absolutely nothing. Bye.